Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast. I bet you when you woke up this morning, you wouldn't have expected to see me donning my traditional Japanese gear. Saut, Anderson, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're a master welcome. in Aikido, the graceful martial art. In fact, the martial art of samurai. Now, I, I love, <laughs> I must say, feeling authentic, but whether you can actually deliver on that is a very different story. But um, Aikido, we know, I think a lot of people understand that it is connected to samurai culture. It is the, the open hand um, form or martial art that, that samurais would have practiced, but it is very alive and very relevant today. Mm -hmm. um, what sets Aikido apart? Why has it become such a popular martial art again now in a very modern era? You see, um, Aikido, uh, if I look at it in uh, Japanese culture and tradition, Aikido is, uh, is completely different to any other martial art in the world of today. As people know it as like um, karate, kung fu, tai chi and that, Aikido is more based on the, the personal so personality. Uh, the person that practices Aikido practices it not just for self-defense in uh, today in the world, it is practice for uh, healing. It is more than a martial art. Uh, the martial art aspect of Aikido is more a small part of it, but there's bigger benefits in the art of peace, which is Aikido. And um, a lot of people in the world today practice uh, practices Aikido. Steven Seagal himself is a seventh man uh, Shian in Aikido, and he's been doing it for many, many years. And as far as uh, I know about Aikido goes, it's uh, everybody loves it. <laughs> yeah? There is something very majestic about it. We know that there is a huge amount of energy transfer involved in Aikido, where um, we talk, talk about the cliche in martial arts of turning your opponent's Opponents. energy against yeah, them. But Aikido correct. really is based on that principle. And there is a huge amount of energy work. Can you show me maybe two maneuvers? I know there is a huge amount of knowledge and, and physical knowledge involved in Aikido. So to cover it in a, in a brief segment, like this is impossible, but something that maybe demonstrates the power of Aikido? Okay, um, I'll show you a few, a few simple techniques about Aikido, which is based on using the opponent's force against himself. And when we talk about using the opponent's force against himself, it's, uh, it doesn't matter how big, how small, what the person is, what, is, what Aikido teaches you is never to resist the attack, and it teaches you also to blend with the attack like water. Okay. You see, water, once it goes and the leaf is on top of the water, it keeps on flowing. So whether it's a punch or whatever it is, you just keep on flowing with the person's force. For example, if the person attacks you with a straight punch in the face, and like punch in the face here, move around, and you blend in with it, you can pin him, you can turn him further, you can throw him, you can do all sorts kinds of blending techniques with, uh, with your partner and that, but more likely there is no fighting like as in other arts, there is no confrontation. So whatever you do, you become a complete uh, harmonized person with, uh, with your attacker and normally what happens is that the person that is harmonizing is using that force from the opponent, like for example again, here as I turn, I lead, lead, lead you out all the way around. Yeah, I can decide whatever I want to do. I, I do feel at your mercy. Um, I, I love the fact that you've used the word harmony and we're going to get into more of the, the physical condition that goes into Aikido in a moment. I think yeah. my studio team, um, they wouldn't be impressed unless I was at least thrown around once or twice this morning. But thank you so much for opening no, a window into a, a, what is an incredible way to look after yourself, I think, inside and out. And I think we discovered this um, with a journey that we went on with Simba. Um, and of course, it's been weeks now where we... We really have been dying to see him on top billing again and tonight we'll get that opportunity to see our very own samurai warrior taking his first few steps in a very brave new culture tonight on three at half past eight simba takes his first few steps in his own samurai adventure to brace his fears and we get to take those steps with him so you want to tune in tonight at 8 30 but we're going to get into more of our keto a little bit later in the show thank you so much so anderson for welcome. joining us this morning um i think i must keep this on for the rest of the show Yuen, what do you think man <laughs>